Hey, Ezra Firestone here with my buddy Aiden Booth. Great to be here, Ezra. Good to have you. I did. That's my wife. She's filming in the background, and she just wanted to make sure that I turned on the microphone because oftentimes we'll be halfway through a video and we'll have realized that the microphone's not on. So uh, thank you for, for checking on that. Um, so Aiden, you live in Argentina? I live in Argentina. Buenos Aires. Buenos Aires. Man, right. how did you end up down there? Well, it's a long, it's a long story, but um, love took me there. My wife is from Argentina. Oh, hey, that's that's a that's that is a that's a good answer. Love <laughs> took me there. L Romantic, love, right? Yeah, that's good. Love <laughs> took me to Brooklyn, so I understand. Uh, so Aiden, uh, some of you know Aiden because he came in and, and did a training on, on the back in the in the members area of my course, Brown Box Formula, and uh, he's a genius internet marketer over at AidenBooth.com. You can follow. He teaches traffic. He teaches mindset. He teaches business systems. And what uh, Aiden's going to do for us today is share a five to ten minute traffic strategy. We're actually going to have to go over to the computer and um, Aiden's going to share a traffic strategy with us. Fantastic. Let's dive into it. So what I want to share with you today is not so much a traffic strategy as such with regards to getting new visitors to your website. It's more about um, you know optimizing your website for the visitors that you already have. And the reason that I wanted to dive deeper into the optimization side of things as opposed to generating new traffic is because quite often it's much easier to optimize what you've already got than it is to actually generate a whole new stream of traffic to your website. And if you don't optimize what you're doing, then you're just leaving money on the table essentially because there's a lot of people that would take action and, and, and buy something on your website if only your website was optimized a little bit more. And Ezra is a real, um, real genius at this with e-commerce websites but it's something you can apply to pretty much any kind of website at all now I'm going to give you an example of this website here woodworking tips online which is a demonstration website that I set up uh, some time ago so although this is not really a traffic strategy as such it's still about um, getting the most out of every visitor that comes to your website so the first thing you want to do it's really a, a, a two-step three-step process the first thing you want to do is obviously have your website up and running and start getting a few visitors at least per day to your website. The next thing you want to do is identify the page on your website that's getting the most visitors or you could identify a couple of pages uh, that are getting the most visitors. And In this case, um, we can do that using things such as clicky.com. Now, what Clicky is, it's a stats program which will record all the visitors that come to your site, where they come from, um, and so on. Okay, um, and the other thing that it lets you do is it lets you see which pages on your website are getting the most visitors. So on this particular website here, I can see that uh, at Arundel Chair Plans and Bunk Bed Plans, they're the two pages that are getting the vast majority of the traffic. So if I want to improve my website's results, I should focus on those uh, pages first. Now. What you want to really do now is, is start split testing essentially or, or first of all get an idea about what visitors are doing when they come to your websites. And there's a couple of different ways you can do this. One really, really cool tool which you can start using for free and get all kinds of just great information from it is called Clicktail. Now um, this is the Clicktail website over here, uh, clicktail.com. You can start a free plan. That they've also got uh, paid plans, which are quite uh, expensive, but um, you know they do do offer paid plans. But the free plan is going to be all that you're really going to want to do, uh, want, want to use initially. Now, what Clicktail does is it records every visitor that comes into your website. Okay, so every single visitor that comes to your website, it can record actually a video showing you exactly what that visitor does, like where they go, what links they click on, uh, how, how long they spend on your site, you know, engagement, all kinds of um, really, really useful uh, information when you're analyzing the performance of a page. So I'm inside my Clicktail account now and I've come to one of my projects which is the um, Woodworking Tips Online and there's different kind of reports that you can run. Now this one here is um, a, a heat map of some description which shows you um, how many people get down uh, to which section in the page. So 100% of the people are viewing this top section of the page. Okay, If we scroll down a little bit further and if I just hover it over, over it, the further we go down the page, 
um, <clears throat> the the more the the viewer uh, numbers seem to drop off because at this point, 81% is seeing this part of the page. We come down here, 65%. If we come down here, it's 50%. If we keep going down, it will just keep going down even further and further. So only 34% are getting down to the comments section uh, on this page. Okay. So what we can really do by looking at this one here is we can say, okay, if we've got something that people need to click on, or if we're, um, you know, if we're selling a product, make sure it's in the section of the page where people are actually seeing it. And if, if for example, if I wanted everyone to be clicking on this link, but I had it down here, then I could increase the clicks on that link probably by 30% or more just by lifting the image into a more prominent place on the page. Okay, that's one of the reports. Another one of the reports is um, mouse click. So this one up here, which one was it? This was scroll reach. Shows you how far people are scrolling down. The next one is mouse clicks. And on this report, we can see this is the number one place that people click on this particular page. And again, I'm analyzing the top performing page or the, the page that gets the most traffic because if we make a small improvement there, then the whole site will improve. So this one here, we can see that this image up the top here gets the most clicks. And then if I scroll down a little bit further, we can see that this little thumbnail image gets um, the second highest amount of clicks equal with this one here. Okay, so um, that's a, that, that can be quite insightful if you're playing around with positioning of, of images and things like that. Um, the next one that, and I really like this one, is mouse move. And this is a heat map. It shows you where people are having their mouse. Okay, so um, you can see these dark red spots. This is where people's mouse cursor is going. Okay, um, and you can see, you know, really where, where different people are clicking essentially and what they're what they're doing. Okay, that's the next one. Now, then another thing. There's lots, lots more that you can do, but one of the other things you can do in here is have a look at recordings. So um, if I just uh, go back a step here. I just want to show you the dashboard of Clicktail a little bit more. Uh, this is the, the dashboard, okay, and this is for the one website I showed you, Woodworking Tips Online. Um, lots and lots of cool things you can do and different things you can see. Um, they've, they've also got a real-time monitor, and then they've got visitor recordings, okay, and this is the one... Uh, I wanted to show you. So it doesn't record every single visitor that comes to the website. It only records a few visitors per day uh, in the free account, which is usually more than enough because you don't need that many, you don't need to watch that many recordings to see what's happening. So if we have a look on January the 12th, there was five recordings on that day. Um, and uh, we can see the different recordings here. So I can find out more information by clicking this little plus button. I can see that first the person came into this page about carport plans and then uh, maybe they clicked on, I'm not sure if they clicked on something or not, but um, in any case what we can actually do is we can click this play button and when I do that it will start um, actually showing me the recording of the person that visit the website. Okay, So this is just going to open. We can change the speed that we want to want to see here, um, so let's just see. It may be a little bit hard to, to see on my video I'm making here, but if I click this play button, um, we'll see if we can actually. So I'm not um, hovering. I'm not scrolling at all now. This is showing you, and again, it's very hard to see here. But this is showing you what the visitor was doing when they were on my site. Okay, you can see they're clicking here and they're going to different pages. So um, a little bit hard to see exactly what's happening, but basically um, it's, uh, the way it works is just shows you a recording of exactly what, um, you know, what was happening on the page, okay? So Clicktail, really, really good tool to use when you want to analyze your visitors and improve your websites. Um, Clicky.com, again, really, really good. You can also use Google Analytics, um, and you can also use this for doing you know, analyzing different pages and, and making changes, so doing split tests and, and things like that. Um, I guess the real message that I want to get across here is that 
sometimes it's not all about generating new traffic, it's just about knowing what to do with your existing traffic. Um, and if you can optimize it, then you always make more money. Thanks, Aiden. Welcome. Yeah, You're welcome. so I hope you found that useful. Uh, if you want to follow more of what Aiden's up to, which I highly recommend that you do, it's AidenBooth.com. You should. Well, I'll put a link below because it's. I, sure. I misspell his name sometimes. Okay. Uh, so thank you so much for taking the time to hang out with us, Aiden. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for having me, and thanks for listening, guys.